Hello and welcome to another tutorial by QuickSight.com. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to change or how to point your domain name to a hosting company's name servers. And uh, basically what that is is every computer out there that broadcasts uh, files to the internet have a name like you and I do. And it's important that the internet understands through your domain name registrar um, exactly what computer it needs to go look off to find the files for your website. So that's what we're going to go over. If you go to quicksite.com and go under domain names, you'll find that uh, I recommend GoDaddy. And let's just go ahead and go to GoDaddy. Um, basically when you're at GoDaddy, you're going to need to log in with your um, account number and password. Okay, and they've gone through some changes and I'm just going to go through this to kind of show you the steps. I'm not going to show you the customer information for this account. Um, but the key is that on the left hand side under my products you want to find a domain manager. And when you do you'll want to click on that. Alright and here we've got the domain name and this will show you a list of all the domain names that you have. But basically you're going to click the checkbox next to it and when you do um, these icons are going to light up and the icon that you want to find is called name servers and you'd simply click on that and when you do this pop-up box window appears and you'll want to make sure that custom name servers is the one that is uh, filled in that radio button and you have name server one two and three um, typically you just need the first two and whatever hosting company you have will have this information and you'd simply copy and paste the name server into the first uh, field and then the one into the second field and oftentimes the only difference is the number one and the number two um, somewhere in the name of it once you complete that hit OK and of course it will submit these changes and it says please allow a few minutes for the change to take effect OK um, Sometimes they say that uh, it can take up to 24 hours to propagate across the internet. Um, typically with GoDaddy I find it's a lot quicker than that, usually within 15 minutes. Um, again, that's no promise, but uh, um, still that's pretty fast. And again, those are basically the steps. Now, depending on where you have your domain name registered at, you may have a completely different format. In fact, most likely you will. Uh, GoDaddy is kind of known for being a little uh, complicated and confusing on the back end of things. Um, but the steps are the same. De de regardless of your registrar, you're going to have, uh, or you should have, a way to select the domain name, administer changes to it, and one of those changes should be to um, rename your name servers. And a lot of times if you get it at GoDaddy, for example, of course, they're going to try to sell you their hosting. And so by default, the name servers that your domain name is pointed to is uh, GoDaddy servers. And if you're going to use their servers, that's fine. Otherwise, whatever the other hosting company you choose to use, um, just input their name servers or the name of their computers. And if you think about it, that kind of lends to some flexibility as to if you need to change servers real quick. Or let's say you've got a site on hosting company A, and you all, you know, on their server holds all the files for site A. And then let's say you get a better site done on hosting company B on their servers. Well, all you got to do it's like a switch that on a on an old Ford pickup that you can choose which gas tank you want to draw from basically changing or yeah, pointing your name your domain name to different name servers is kinda of like flipping the switch to tell the internet to look off a different computer for the files of your domain name now although if you change your name servers to a different hosting company your old site won't show your old sites files should still be preserved on the original hosting company server um, to which you should be able to get in there and download um, but you might want to do that before you change your or change your domain name over to the new server you may want to do that by FTP because once you or once it propagates across the internet that change then the FTP information won't be good anymore for that old hosting account so anyway I hope this helps you on uh, getting your domain names pointed to the proper hosting company and um, that concludes this tutorial